Hey everyone, in this guide we will be setting up Stripe to process payments for you in your Medusa project. For the sake of this tutorial we are going to be using Medusa Express to actually complete some cards and create some orders. Um, as per usual, we'll be assuming that you already have a Medusa project running locally with Postgres and a Redis server. So we're going to be jumping straight into the terminal here. I'm currently in a project, in a Medusa project called Backend here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the plugin. So I'm going to say Medusa, sorry, yarn at Medusa payment stripe. I'm going to install it as a dependency here. And then I'm going to open up my project. Now in our Medusa config, we need to add stripe as a plugin. So since the Stripe plugin needs a couple of options, um, we need to use a slightly different notation than already here. So we're going to say result the Medusa payment Stripe plugin. And then we're going to give it a couple of options here, which is actually only API key for now. Now we're going to be using an API key, so I'm just going to make a variable up here called um, Stripe API key. And then to actually get the Stripe API key, I'm going to jump into my browser and into my Stripe dashboard. And then I'm currently in test mode. And don't worry, I'm going to revoke these keys afterwards. But I'm going to use my secret key. Um, I'm going to copy it in here. And then I'm going to use my variable here instead, Stripe API key. All right, so now we've actually configured Stripe in your Medusa project. Um, but we, we also need to do a couple of different things here for, for it to actually work. So the first one being we need to configure your region to actually accept Stripe as a payment provider. So let's jump into the terminal and start up our project with Stripe installed. All right. And then I currently have a Medusa admin running locally here. So I'm going to jump into my region, choose the first one available and then add Stripe as a payment provider here. I'm just going to add standard Stripe. All right, so now that's configured. So now everything on the Medusa side of things is actually configured. But for us to use Stripe in a front-end project, we also need to configure Stripe, um, the Stripe li library in our front-end project. So just to confirm that Stripe is not working right now, we're going to go through a checkout flow here. I'm going to buy a coffee mug. I'm going to enter my details. And then, as you see, we do currently don't have any Stripe payment method down here. So that's what we are going to be adding now to Medusa Express. All right. So I'm just going to refresh Medusa Express here. I'm going to jump into Stripe because for the front end, for Medusa Express, we need the publishable key. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to jump into my terminal, go to my Medusa Express. Um, tap here and then I'm going to open up the project. Now we're going to configure Stripe elements here so I'm going to search for where we use Stripe and this is only one place and then I'm going to add the Stripe test key here. All right so that's actually the only thing you need to do in order for you to accept Stripe payments through Medusa Express. So let's just run this again. All right so now, now that's running. And then we are going to go to Medusa Express here and we're going to say, I actually like that coffee mug anyways. So fill out the options here. And then finally, we have the option of actually paying with Stripe. So since this is a test account I'm using, I'm just going to add Stripe's standard test card here and complete the order. And boom, now you've actually used Stripe to process a payment. So let's actually see the order in here in our admin system. We can jump into this one and you can see that the payment has been placed by Stripe of 20 euros. And we should also be seeing it over here as an uncaptured payment. All right, so that's it. 